Dogumentary TV, producing the best breed documentaries on YouTube. My name is Kendall Kincaid, and um, I'm a member of the SoCal NAFTA group, and I have a English setter. I fell in love with hunting when, from a young age, and I've just been around it my whole life, so that's why I love hunting. My dad was a big duck hunter and met my mom, and my mom got into it and got him actually into upland hunting. Um, and so I've always really appreciated their love for one another and it was kind of their, their thing that they did. So we had our, our hunting dog growing up. So when I met my boyfriend and he had also grew up hunting, it was kind of meant to be. Uh, my mom got into duck hunting because my dad was a duck hunter. She was not about sitting in the blinds all the time. She loved sitting in the duck blind, but she wanted to get out and work a field and that's where the upland came and that's how they got involved with SoCal NAVDA so that they could have um, the love of duck hunting and the love of upland work. Yeah, I was definitely, I was definitely born into hunting. It was definitely something, um, I saw the love that they had for it. They would come home and tell stories and every time I heard a story, I'm like, I wanna be part of that. I wanna, I wanna get involved in that. And so now I, I live it out every day now. I started hunting um, and training with my parents uh, probably in 05, helping in and out. So I was around, I'd be around for months helping out and then they'd leave and go out of state and go hunting. So I was in and out of the training process. I became more involved two years ago. A couple years ago, um, my dad fell and suffered a brain injury and he became disabled. So his walking became impaired and it, it became very trying for them to work the field together. And as, as you know, out there training, it, it takes more than one. So I started going out almost, you know, three times a week working with my mom. My dad was always with us, but he'd stay at the truck, kind of organize everything. And my mom and I, we'd go out and work the field. And, then my boyfriend became involved and he kind of took over training, um, helping my mom with her dog. And, you know, that started the online videos and the reading the books every day and coming up with, you know, hey, I, I heard this method and hey, let's try this method. And it, be, it became a big collaboration and it was kind of a beautiful thing because um, my dad kind of lost a piece of himself with going out and training, but he became you know, the guy that's at the truck and he needs to get, you know, he organizes the boxes and he's got to get our shells ready and he's got to get um, our guns ready and he's got to get, you know, get the leads out and take care of the dogs while we're out in the field. So it's really nice having him there. My first dog is actually our first dog with my boyfriend. It's, um, he's 10 months old, he's an English setter. Boone is, um, from Kentucky. He's from pretty much on the outskirts of a small town. Um, and we picked that breeder because she is kind of in the country. She's on 10 acres and we wanted a hunting dog. So we spent a year trying to find her and we found her and fell in love with her. I hunt with an English setter, and the reason why I picked the English setter is they're considered like the gentleman's dog. They're this big, bold, um, you know, when they, they walk down the street, you kind of look at them and you say, oh, like, what is that? And I grew up with paintings of uh, pointing dogs on the wall, and um, I saw these these dogs that were in the pictures, and I'm like, gosh, what is that? They had these beautiful furnishings and beautiful um, points with tail straight out. And my dad would say, well, that's, that's an English setter. And um, 
my boyfriend, because we, we co-own the dog together, he actually grew up with an English setter picture right on his gun cleaning case. So every time that they would come back from the field, he'd open up the case and there'd be a picture of an English setter right there. So it was kind of um, subliminally put into our brains that this was the kind of dog that we were gonna get. The English setter, they go back about 400 years in history and um, they are actually AKC's first registered dog. So their regi the registration number is one on the English setter Adonis. So with that kind of history, we were like, how could we not? They were originally used, what would happen is the hunters would go out and the dogs would get real low and they'd stay on a real low point up on the birds and the hunters would walk up slowly behind and they'd throw a large net over the top of the prey and that kept the, bird, the dogs real low. As firearms became more popular and more hunters were using firearms to hunt, the dogs that, um, developed into a higher set point, which is now why you get the real staunch, high set, tail straight out point. And when it comes down to English setters, there's two types. There's the bench setters, and then there's the field setters. So Boone is a bench setter. Boone is like a show line. Um, there's also the field setters, field setters are smaller. They're um, about 45 pounds. And they have, they don't have the roaning. If you look at Boone, he's got uh, real tight spots roaning. You'll see the field setters, which are called Llewellyn's. They're smaller, they have a little bit smaller ears. They're much faster in the field. They work big field area. They work far out in front of you and they'll be you know 300 yards out and you're never gonna see them. Boone, as a bench setter, he works a little bit tighter in, a little bit closer in, and he, Boone, is um, going to be 65 to 75 pounds. He's going to be a bigger, blockier dog, bigger, bold head. So right now, um, Boone is 10 months old, and so we're kind of like, we're in our terrible twos. We're, we're training and we train hard, but at four and a half months, he tested first for his NAVDA natural ability. And we came out with the prize three. Uh, we were very proud of that. He scored very high in field and search and uh, very proud of him. Um, and then at six months, he ran his junior hunt test and he got his junior hunt titles in a weekend. And right now we're just kind of, we're, we're gearing up to do our UT test. So right now we're really working on uh, a lot of obedience training. English setters are thought to be um, a real good hunting breed because of their point. They, they get on target and they hold their point. They have a real staunch, strong hold. So the tail goes straight out, the back's real tight. Uh, they have an amazing use of nose. So they'll pick up on scent. They have a real far point. Um, he's, a, he's a good runner too. He's, he's real quick in the field, the way he's built. So Boone is very prey driven. Boone is extremely prey driven. Boone is, he sees a bird fly overhead, that's all he focuses on. A bird walks in front of him, that's all, all Boone thinks about is prey drive. So if I'm gonna say anything about an English setter and their attributes and their quality as, a hunt, as hunters, it's gonna be their incredible, their prey drive, their bird crazy. The English Shedder is an incredibly smart dog. He figures stuff out at home that he should never be into. He jumps onto cabinets like he should never be into. He is incredibly smart, and I think that goes into the fact that they are a little bit of a stubborn dog. They are a little bit of a sensitive dog because they are so incredibly intelligent. So the next big hunt on our bucket list is we are gonna go to Utah where um, Boone's litter mate, Josie, her owner, Chris, is a wildlife vet. And so we are going to go up there and hunt um, grouse and pheasant with him um, when Boone becomes steady to wing and shot and we can work a wild field with him. I love hunting because it's brought me closer to my family. I think family is so important going through everything that we've been through as a family with my dad's 
disability, um, it's amazing to just kind of sit back and enjoy each other's company. Also, being part of a group, being part of NAVDA is so fulfilling and I come out every Friday and I train with a group of people and I've become friends with them and it's amazing to kind of relive the joy of the accomplishments every time. Yeah, this is a forever thing. Um, I talk to Boone's Breeder all the time and we're, you know, hey, two years, what's your plan breeding? This, I like this dog, I like that dog, I like the looks of this bold head, give me a tricolor. That's what I, I, I beg her all the time, give me a tricolor English setter. And I will <laughs> get to hunt titles, I'll do whatever you want, but give me that tricolor English setter.